Hey guys, make sure you stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, you may end up spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Make sure you stand till the end. We will explain what we are talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Tahoe or Chevy Suburban. That generation here from year 2000 and uh, 6 to year 2014. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the power train relay is located, which relay you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Tahoe or Suburban, practically they are built on the same platform. We'll be making a video about every single fuse relay in that SUV. Why? Because let's say you're down the road, you need to find where the fuse for fuel injectors, fuel pump, ignition coils is located. That way you can fix your SUV and be back on the road. We will have that information. You'll just spend a minute or two watching the video, fix it and it will take care of that problem. Now, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmissions, mechanical, body work, and we have more than 12,000 free repairs on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. In addition, guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, we will put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let's start on it now. For the powertrain relay, where you can expect to find it, we'll demonstrate on that generation Chevy Tahoe right here. Chevy Suburban is practically the same vehicle, guys, just a little bit longer, but they're built on the same platform. So, if you need to find the powertrain fuses, we have the video on the channel. Today we will explain about the relay. And we'll be working in a fuse box that's under the hood. Once you open the hood, facing the engine on the right side, you have a fuse box under this cover. Open it and you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout that will look like this one here. And before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below so the power train relay we need to check actually two of them not one but two now by the way guys if you need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience that way you do not waste money and time guys for any car practically you can find parts and tools here the first relay that you need to check is that relay right here that's a powertrain relay the other relay that you need to check will be this one here as well so these two relays for the powertrain will need to be checked if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to let us know hopefully the video was helpful and see you guys next time